Isn't being a girl so fun? I am on the way to the grocery store. Y'all, I did not think I was gonna make it. I'm not gonna lie. I think I told you guys recently that I'm really, I'm really trying to become, I don't know if I wanna be a 5 a.m. girly. I'm not gonna lie. Like maybe when I get closer to that, I'll change my mind. I am really trying to get more on top of my days kind of earlier on in the day because I just find that I do a lot better with routines. And I think pretty much everybody does better with routines, but I used to not believe that about myself. I was telling you guys recently that I was very into like, the soft girl lifestyle whatever's meant to be will be but it's like to a certain extent you know so recently i've just been getting back on top of things and i'm to the point now where i do religiously wake up at 7 30 a.m that may not be early to some of you guys because i know like some people do 5 a.m i am trying to work my way to being 7 a.m and then eventually at best a 6 a.m type of girl actually more hopeful now that we're kind of getting out of winter it is 70 degrees in atlanta today that's why i have on all these light colors i've gone on my athleisure oh they're going on a little walkie walk okay i'm sorry me and my attention span th this is half the problem but we're gonna get through it because remember i told you guys i'm not blaming my attention span anymore we're not blaming adhd anymore okay it's me it's all on me I already hit the gym at like 8 a.m today and i'm not gonna lie after that it was like emails and admin stuff very boring things and i, I was like jordan do you really want to go to the grocery store today like do you want to do that today and then i looked at the weather because that's half the reason why i'm kind of like ugh because like the weather is not great like it's very cloudy overcast and i was like you know maybe it's gonna be sunnier tomorrow and then I looked on there and it's literally gonna be cloudy all week. In fact, it's going to be very ugly tomorrow, like raining. And I'm like, girl, you do not want to do any of this in the rain. And you're also tired of starving at home. I don't know why I made grocery days on Tuesdays. And yeah, I'm gonna kind of take you guys through what I'm doing to reset myself for spring. Girl, do y'all hear that? I'm like, what is going on? I thought music was playing on my phone. It's like a guy just walking down the street playing a trumpet. I'm, I kid you not, like it's always something in Atlanta. Anyways, I'm just gonna insert like a screenshot or a screen recording of how I've been doing my grocery because I feel like this has been helping me so, so much. Um, but I actually give my Pinterest boards and my Instagram boards a little love and I go back and I use them as inspiration and I open up my notes app in my phone and pretty much I'll plan like breakfast, lunch, dinner, even snacks sometimes. Um, so I will have like a picture, as you can see, like of what my breakfast for the week looks like. And then I list out all the ingredients that this meal will take. Now, if I already have some of these items um, at home, then I just go ahead and check it off so I know not to, you know, rebuy it again in the grocery store. And so then I do that like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that just helps me so much. That way I'm not walking around the grocery store being like, ooh, this looks good. Like, that looks good. Like, this is on sale. Because I will do that. Um, but yeah, that definitely helps a lot and it just helps me stick to the program and that's just what i eat throughout the week and it always holds me over so that is what i'm gonna be using today again since it was foolproof last time and we're gonna see if we can you know find some good stuff i'm just not obsessed with the flowers and okay. Should have went to Trader Joe's. Everybody knows Trader Joe's has all the really cute flowers. Like, I don't want to get roses because I feel like roses die so fast. And then also Trader Joe's has better priced flowers, but I also don't feel like going over there. So, what's it giving? These are actually quite pretty. I just cannot figure out the price of them. Because if I get these, I would want to get like two. Ooh. And then half of these are crushed in this one. So that won't work. Maybe I can mix it with roses or something. That's kind of pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like these too. I 
actually have no idea how this works. So there's organic tomatoes, $3.89. There's grape tomatoes, $2.99. But we are in Whole Foods, so I'm confused. Is one better than the other? Because I know when you go to other grocery stores, like if I go to Publix and get the regular ones, like who knows what happened to it, but the organic is supposed to be better. But here, I thought everything was supposed to be a whole and a food. So I don't know. I'm going to do my bet with one of these. I I feel like I need to do some research on like where this stuff comes from, but I think we'll go with these. I'm good, how are you? Um, am I able to do the two of the Atlantic salmon portions? Thank you. No, that's it. Thank you. Alright, just got back, so I figured I would show you guys my full outfit of the day. I mean, it's very chill, obviously. Like, I'm literally wearing what I had on from the gym, and then I threw on this little... It's kind of like an athleisure cardigan on top, but I love it because, number one, it looks like a cardigan. And then number two, we love anything with the little thumb holes on it. Um, but this is the full set. And then I'm also wearing my New Balance. And then again, I just kept on the socks that I went to the gym in. The set as well as the cardigan are all from Naywai. But I will make sure to link them down below. And then I have on my New Balance sneakers. Love these sneakers. They're just so comfy. And they look really cute when I wear like cream colored things. And then we have, you guys know, <laughs> your girl loves this bag. Little coach white bag. So I actually forgot to record the final price because the price that y'all saw me record, I thought that was the price. So we actually ended up going over what we normally do. I normally spend like $100. Um, it was $145 today. Although I will say like I don't normally get flowers. Um, so that added like, like just under $20, which um, I will be going to Trader Joe's next time. Like also because they just have better flowers. I already showed you all the veggies and stuff. I'm not gonna actually sit here and show you vegetables and fruits. So last time I went to Whole Foods, I did not end up picking up salmon and I ended up going to Publix and picking up salmon. And I wanna say I spent like $18 on like two little, like you know what a serving of salmon looks like, like serving size, like the strip. I spent like $18 on two of those last time I went to Publix. So I was like, if I'm gonna spend $18 to go into Publix, like why not just get it from Whole Foods? That's like just a little comparison for you guys. Um, 
also got some organic chicken i'm showing you guys meats because i know that this can be like the thing that really gets more expensive but again this ended up being ten dollars 84 and maybe it's because i go to Publix, like but it's just more convenient for me i don't know i'm not at walmart so maybe if you go to walmart or like kroger or something you see something different but i only can compare to Publix. um so that was about the same Ooh, i could not let these slip the way they had these chocolate chip cookies up there looking delicious and delectable. And then I read that they are brown butter chocolate. Why would y'all do me like that? Why would y'all do me like that? So I had to get that. Um, picked up some eggs. Also had to grab the banana nut bread um, muffins, which I actually would probably be eating one like right now because I'm actually starving. Uh, I would make lunch, but I took too long to go to the grocery store, so I'm probably just going to make dinner later with you guys. Um, and then something else I'm going to be trying this week. Uh, I feel like I'd like to try a new snack every time I go to Whole Foods because it's always going to be some little organic, fancy type snack. So this week's try is um, Pop Mmms, I guess that's what they're called. So I'm hoping this will replace Cheez-Its for me because... I unfortunately, I knew Cheez-Its were not good, but then I actually had to look at the facts because there's this page that I follow. Um, I'll insert a screenshot of the page if I can remember to do that. But I think it's called like <laughs> Food Babe or Food Bay or something like that. But she like posts what's in the snacks that we like to eat and then like alternatives. And so when I saw what was in Cheez-Its, I was like, oh no. So that's going to be my attempt to try to replace that. And then another couple things that I'm really interested in, uh, I've been told this is really good, is the Whole Foods um, cold pressed juice in the flavor Mommy Boost. It has apples, carrots, beets, ginger, limes, and spinach, which I find that it has lime in it particularly interesting. Um, I love things that have lime. And then I also got this one. I've probably cut it out a million times by now, but I have a little bit of a cough. Uh, you guys know I got a little bit sick when I was in Gatlinburg, and it's still not over. So I'm trying to really, like, deplete that. And one thing I know that... <coughs> See, there it is. <laughs> one thing I know that used to work for me uh, was elderberry. And so when I saw this, I was like, okay, definitely need to get this. So this is Uncle, Uncle Matt's Ultimate Immune. So... A lot of good things for the immune system of course orange get that vitamin c but i saw that it had elderberry in it so that was particularly interesting and then there's also zinc so i definitely will be trying to drink maybe like a glass of this every morning i'll probably start tonight though since i just got it because when i used to take elderberry and i had like a cold or something when i tell you it used to knock it right out so i was like this is gonna be my way to try and stop taking like so much day quill and night quill i don't I like to avoid like medicines like that, but yeah, we will see. I will let y'all know how that goes in future videos. Do y'all see how good this banana nut bread looks? Oh my gosh. I don't know why I keep calling it that. It's literally a banana nut muffin. Muffin. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. I feel like it tastes fresh, you know? I'm getting ready to clear my fridge out of old things, prep it for new things. I feel like part of eating my fruit and vegetables is making sure everything is clean. Because if I leave it in there like dirty, it's very rare that I'll, well I'll do it, but it's more rare that I'll go in and be like, let me eat this plum that I have to sit here and wash and whatnot. Because I'm far removed from just washing my fruit with, like, just water. Like, I actually like to put it in baking soda and, like, Trader Joe's cleansing stuff. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to work on that to make sure all of my food is up to date and not old. And everything looks nice and pretty and enticing. Because for some reason, when things look nice and pretty and enticing, I'm more likely to participate in eating them. I was meditating on love. You, roses. Okay, I'm washing my fruit right now, but when this is done, I'm going to put everything inside of this container just to have like easy access to it in the fridge. Um, I didn't wash my kale because we're actually going to be making dinner with this tonight. Got that going right now. Actually, I'm probably going to go ahead and... <laughs> like flipping chicken. 
Can I call you Rose? also got some new candles, some new hand soaps. I feel like you can't really do spring without new candles, so you know we had to go there. Um, let's see, I picked up like, I think like four from Bath and Body Works. Went around the whole store, just smelling everything. I still have some of my like winter candles that I'm still trying to burn up, but once they're out of the way, we're going to be using the spring ones. And I also ran out of hand soap, and I found the most delectable hand soap. Um, but yeah, we love Bath & Body Works candles over here because I feel like the burn on them is really good. I've tried, like, Target candles. I feel like some are hit or miss. Some work really well, and then some, even if they're huge, they will burn out so, so fast. So I've just found that the longevity of Bath & Body Works candles work the best for me and also the scents like obviously there's such a variety um a lot of things to choose from but anyways i'll show you guys the ones that i picked up i'm not gonna lie i picked up some of them because i think they're cute <laughs> like i mean I, I made sure they smelled good too but also like the container is really cute to me so you know that's a, that's a little selling point for your girl um but yeah the first one we got this fresh Amalfi lemon yeah but the container is super cute I just love this I think this is gonna look really good in my kitchen and that's another thing I like to use scents for certain rooms like I wouldn't be too big on putting um I mean my my living room is connected to my kitchen but I wouldn't specifically put a lemon scent inside of my living room especially like when I move up in life and head over to like a house lifestyle like well, actually, never mind, because I'm thinking it, because literally my mom's kitchen is still connected to her living room. So that's that's probably going to forever be a thing <laughs> if you go for, like, an open concept. So never mind. But even still, I would place this inside of my kitchen. But it's just got this, um, it's this intense lemon smell, but it's also warm at the same time, which I feel like you don't see so much with lemons. Like, literally, the color of the container is a good indicator for me of this scent like bright lemon fresh but also like warm and sweet so um it's not so much of a like a cleaning day scent i mean it is for sure but i feel like it also works as an everyday scent because of that and then it's also gonna look really cute in my kitchen um the next one uh, another aesthetics purchase but also the scent is good is the hummingbird tea cake like look how cute it's got the little plaid and the little hummingbird in the middle. Um, let's see. This one is so sweet. And it smells like cake. Like it smells like somebody is baking something in the kitchen. So to be honest, even though it smells like baked goods, I feel like it would be a good kitchen smell, a good living room smell. Like I could really go either way. I also like the strength of Bath & Body Works candles because I feel like there's a lot of candles out there. Oh, I thought I bought the same candle. I was about to be so mad. I thought these were the same, but they're different. They just look a little similar. But um, there's a lot of candles out there that, like, the, the throwing of the scent is just not great. So we stick into the basics. We stick into Bath & Body Works and also Margiela uh, replica candles. Because this thing, so little, but packs a punch. But yeah, the other, I was about to say flavor. Girl, we not eating the candles, but you get what I'm saying. The other scent... I got is backyard honeysuckle it's got this cute little bee and it's got like brown designs all over it very much spring um ooh. okay so this one is definitely going to be like a living room scent for me uh i feel like it would be a good bedroom scent too it's very like fresh and sweet and bright like it would be a good candle to light up in the morning if i spent time in my bedroom in the morning i don't um so with that, with that being said it's going to be a living room scent for this one but literally smells like honeysuckle and i love honeysuckle takes me back to um my childhood when we would go to church there was like this honeysuckle is it a bush or a tree i don't know it may have been a bush but it was so big it looks like a tree um 
but we would go to the back of the church uh, church house that sounds so old school I feel like this whole concept sounds really old school and um, me and the other kids would pick honeysuckle off the tree and like you know suck off the little take the little stem out and suck the honey off of the honeysuckle flower you know it's funny because sometimes I think I don't have the most like country southern upbringing and then I think back to like times like that and I'm like yeah you got some you got some little times for sure that just give very humble small town southern upbringing vibes and I feel like that is definitely one of them but yeah it's kind of like a little candle that takes me back you know candles can definitely bring back memories and that is one these are actually some of my favorites to consistently get from Bath and Body Works the ones that kind of have like the matte container on them just because you guys know when they be doing the holiday um candles and stuff like that they be putting like these ugly little like snowmen on them and like sometimes the candles got like puppy dogs or something I don't like that <laughs> I do not like that so whenever they got that little issue going on I just I'm like okay we're gonna go back to the core scents and we're gonna go to the matte section I do love me a good little design one but I want it to be simple I don't want it to have little puppy dogs on it <laughs> um you know it's just a personal preference if you like puppy dog candles I love that for you maybe you have some puppy dogs I do not. It's super random in my house. I fell in love with this candle scent so much that I actually ended up getting it in a hand soap as well. Um, but let's see. This one is called Wild Rose and Suede. Mm. I could put this, it could go living room or it could go bathroom self-care vibes. It's it's like this, um, obviously it's got kind of a rosy scent to it, but like from the suede, it kind of makes it like a smooth and sexy scent. Um, mm, like I just would not mind for my space to smell like this all the time. So she was so good. I feel like it's kind of calming as well. So I was like, perfect. I was looking for a hand soap because I just ran out of my little bougie hand soap. And until I purchase another bougie hand soap, I'm like, we're getting the $8 one from Path and Body Works. Um, I think this is the foam one. Yeah, these are the foamy ones because if I'm gonna do these kind, it has to be foam. And I just like that they made it look like a really nice bottle even though it's like a plastic bottle. Hold on, wait a second. Did I buy a broken one? See, this is why. This looks a little broken. See, that's disappointing. I don't even know if this works. That didn't sound good. Keep opening it. Okay, it works. <laughs> it works, I was about to freak out. <laughs> I was about to say, and this is why I don't buy these. Let me stop, let me stop being bougie. But anyways, um, yeah, I picked this one up because it's got like a matte uh, colored bottle and it matches my bathroom's aesthetic, so. I was like, why not? But that is my little Bath and Body Works candle haul. I'm about to set these up, well, in the places that actually need a candle. Because like I said, we're still trying to flesh out those um, winter Christmas time candles. No candle gets left behind around here. And then, yeah. I'm actually about to declutter my closet. That's going to be fun. Guess what we're about to do. We are about to do a closet clean out because hold on let me set my phone down whenever it gets to like a change of season that is what i like to clean out of my closet um reason being here let me break it down so it makes sense okay so for example when summer ends and it is officially like cold and i cannot wear any of my summer pieces i like to go back through and look at the summer pieces and be like, Jordan, what did you wear? What did you think about wearing? And what did you absolutely not even consider wearing once? And those things that I didn't consider wearing at all and that I just feel like do not match like my style anymore or maybe I don't like the quality really of it anymore. Those are the things that I decided to like donate, get rid of, give to my little sister, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm doing the same thing with uh, winter coming to a close. I actually am planning on completely redoing or not redoing it's never been done <laughs> i don't know why i act like i've done it 
This area up here where you just see like boxes, these are like just empty designer boxes and my bags are just dispersed throughout my apartment. And I would like for that to change. So the way that I'm going to change that, not today, um, because I have to get the built-ins built. I literally have them sitting um, like at my entryway though. They just have not been built and they've been sitting there for weeks. So as soon as I get those built, you guys are gonna basically see like shelving go all the way up like in all across that way i have like places to organize i guess sometimes i look and i don't realize how many shoes i have because they're spread out everywhere but your girl also got a lot of clothes so i'm gonna start on this end of my closet and we're gonna just work our way around to see how much of this stuff i can get rid of i don't like when it looks a mess and I care about my clothes deeply, so I need it to always look on 10. And right now, it is not giving on 10. So before we even go into the new season, this needs to be handled. We already got a free hanger. Example number one, literally like, this is the second piece. I intend on getting a better trench than this. This is um, a trench that I thrifted years ago, and I really don't wear it because it's just too big on me. Um, I was going for that oversized look, but honestly, younger Jordan, she was OD, okay? Like, oversized <laughs> is an understatement when it comes to this. This is definitely, like, not even close to my size, and I was looking like I sell clocks out of my out of my jacket um so yeah i plan on getting another one forgot to mention this is also a really good time to take out the pieces in your closet that obviously you won't be using in the spring and summer um i feel like this sweater i'm gonna keep it for now because i might have colder days but um she will be leaving very soon i don't even see myself wearing this just because the month is literally called march and that screams spring, so there's nowhere I'm going where I'm going to wear this. So things like this, I'm going to put aside to pack away. Perfect Sunday, on the blue ways. We looked happy, but I was going through it, yeah. All my senses, really no way. Alright y'all, I'm literally exhausted right now. I just finished getting rid of some stuff, um, setting aside winter clothes. Oh my gosh, like I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm looking at this and I think I'm more tired because like I'm realizing I need to set aside a whole day to actually like organize my clothes and refold like the ones in the drawer and things like that. But we're not doing that today. Literally today is all about like getting rid of things, spring clean out declutter before we can even spring clean for the spring so i'm probably gonna focus on that Whew, this upcoming weekend that way i could just go into actual spring with like a clear mind because i think spring doesn't start till like march 20 something so i just want to make sure that is done before we even get to that point but let me show y'all how much i am getting rid of so i managed to collect three bags one was already almost filled from some other stuff that i recently decided i was going to get rid of and this is not even including the stuff that i set aside for my sister but yeah you can use me as your little reminder like you don't have to do a full like closet breakdown but like just pull out some things, give yourself room to breathe because I feel like we all get to a point where the closet's so full, you don't know what you have. Like I'm looking back there like, dang, I could've worn this over the winter because I've got things like in the cut that you guys can see that I couldn't even see. So yeah, I feel like everything's more visible now and I can get to stuff that I actually want to wear. I know I'm so late to the game, okay? Or the story, if you will. That's half of the reason I couldn't watch it in the first place. I couldn't think of this lady's name to save my life. Risa Tisa, oh my gosh, I am so late, but I kept telling myself like I was going to listen to this lady's story off of TikTok. If you guys, I don't know how you haven't heard about this by now, if you haven't heard about it, but if you have not heard about it, girl, they got it all gathered for you on YouTube, which is exactly how I'm watching it. Basically, Risa Tisa is this lady, uh, she put out this series of videos on TikTok, like a long series, just her sitting in her car, and it was called like who did i marry 
and pretty much she ended up marrying like a huge narcissist and she didn't realize it which i think it also just came out i was listening to the breakfast club it just came out that apparently he was diagnosed with um with bipolar disorder when he was younger but she had like no idea but i guess her brother or not her brother his brother came forward uh recently was like um yeah like he has like a disorder we've been trying to get him help um he's been taking medicine since he was a kid but he stopped taking the medicine when he got older so but anyway like the story is still crazy but she she blew this whole man's world up like i think his job is basically saying like this is not looking good for him and like it's making the company look bad because it came out but pretty much like i'm not even super far in i'm not gonna lie y'all it's already looking wishy-washy for me y'all know i have like been on the apps and whatnot she was basically sharing the story about the her now husband or ex-husband that she's ranting about she met him on the apps but she said she literally saw him on like hinge and then there was another app and he had the same picture for both but he had a different name on both like what huh because if i've seen that if i seen that and i'm not gonna say like i would have just known but like i don't know i'm so like a man can literally be in his dating profile not spilling things out correctly and i'm like mm, that's fishy like i don't know what that is but like i don't like that like i'm so y'all i'm so wicky it's insane <laughs> but if i would have seen this man and like thought like oh like i think he's cute like i would talk to him then saw him on another app under another alias like uh-uh something is not adding up like this is weird and i might even i'm just like even if i don't really want to know i might be like why are you on this other app called this you're gonna have to give me some sort of explanation and really you can give me the explanation all day i would be like you what's wrong with you because this is like a serious app this is not like a finsta <laughs> you know this is not your fake fun instagram this is a serious dating app so for you to show up on two different platforms with different names like insane but that's just the red flag number one that i've seen so far but like he is coming off as like the perfect man and i was super interested in her story about her ex-husband when i realized they actually live in atlanta like i feel for her too because like the lady uh in this video was saying uh shayla she's talking about how like this woman must have been so excited to meet this man because he was being the ultimate gentleman like really just standing up stepping up as a man <laughs> you know like she said he was such a good liar that she had to record everything he said to go back one day and realize that it was a lie she would never know it was a lie like in the moment now like i said i'm not super far deep in so there could be a lot more red flags but like the lady was saying like dating in atlanta is said to be like super duper hard and apparently what does she say i think the ratio is like three women to one man or more but at least like three women to one man so as you can understand like that's a lot so yeah she probably just got super excited to find like a man who looks like what he looked like on the app because that was a big concern of hers because let me tell y'all i always thought that like catfishing was like belonged to us like it belonged to the girls no like when i started dating i i always thought like okay yeah like he's cute and he's gonna be cute when i first started dating y'all these men be catfishing oh my gosh i would say like 75 80 percent of the dates that i've been on the men looked better on the app than they did in real life and i was like what like i didn't know y'all did this like how are y'all doing this with no makeup let me tell y'all these men's these men don't care about that i was like oh so y'all out here catfishing too that's crazy like not you using your picture from when you were 18 and you're 30 now baby you don't look like this anymore so yeah obviously she was really impressed with finding the man attractive on the apps and then he came in person and he was still attractive and he was um chivalrous and whatnot in atlanta in atlanta like i feel for my girl so far so far i feel for my girl i mean that name thing the name change you know sometimes sometimes you just see the green flags and you don't see the red you just keep going towards the green when there's so many things that are good <laughs> i get it you know who who am i to judge I 
got on my little dress. <gasps> like, she's stunning. The details, like so many details. I love that. I bought it from For Love and Lemons recently and I have yet to take the tags off until today because I was saving it for spring. I will link it down below like with other stuff. Um, but I love this dress. This is hella cute. Anyway, so let me do my little skincare for the day. I did not get to do a mask on Sunday. I typically do those on Sunday, but uh, I just did not have time. So we're gonna do one today, especially since we're giving, you know, spring reset vibes. You already know we gotta go into spring with good skin, which speaking of good skin, my skin, <laughs> She has been A1 lately. Like, I have nothing on it right now, but it's just been so clear and like just glowy and like looking moisturized in the winter. I was worried a little bit. For a little bit, I was like, ugh. But I feel like I really gathered it about a month ago. I had to go back like to some things that I used in my old routine. <clears throat> we had to get back into that Korean skincare, okay? Um, but speaking of Korean skincare, that's the mask that I'm going to be using today. I pointed to the wrong side. I'm just going to link everything, but this is the Metaheal Collagen, um, pad. For day and night, people use these as toning pads, but I saw a hack on TikTok, of course, where people have been using them for, like, masks. I've used, like, half of them already by now. They put a lot in here, so, like, don't worry, you wouldn't use all of them. But pretty much you put them like in your t-zone areas and it's gonna really help like boost the collagen i like to really make sure we cover this line right here because the last thing i want is even more collagen to leave that area i think i'm good for now i actually learned today in a podcast that um when women hit i don't know if it's women or like everybody in general but when you hit 30 you lose like <clears throat> one percent of your collagen every year after that i've got a few more years but we're gonna go ahead and get a little jump on it sorry about that random noise my apartment is really good for random noises I'm like hannibal lecter right now i'm gonna try not to laugh i also wanted to make dinner I'm not going to do my skincare until after I set this on my face for like 20 minutes. So I'm going to go make dinner in the process. So if y'all don't hear me talking for real, you can see why. <laughs> so cute, Jordan. So cute. We're also going to put one on my chin. Isn't being a girl so fun? Mwah. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. Alright, my timer just went off for the mask. Let's take this thing off. Too much light. Ah! It's falling off actually. Okay, I'm just gonna peel the rest of them off. You really can do like 15 minutes, but I'm over the top, I do 20. Anytime a mask says like, do this amount of time, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna add five minutes. Like, like that's gonna do something. And it probably does, but you see, very glistening, bouncy skin. I'm gonna let this soak in for now. I'm not gonna do my skincare until after, um, after I finish eating. But let me show you guys what we're making today. You know, I love salmon. I love salmon real bad. I'll actually insert a picture of exactly what I'm making. But like I said, I keep a list like for the week of what I'm going to be making for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So this was my Pinterest pick of the week. Um, it's pretty much salmon with like a whole bunch of like veggies and things like that. I'll have the picture right here, but it's just a mix of like kale, um, mushroom. They use oyster mushrooms. I'm just using regular mushrooms. Um, the cherry tomatoes, they put cauliflower in it. Me and cauliflower, we don't get down like that just yet. Eventually, maybe not right now though. No, um, they wrote pepper. 
That, that, that's interesting to me because did y'all add anything else besides pepper? Anyways, and caramelized onion. I obviously have added way more seasonings than pepper. I'm just kind of freestyling with it, but I've been using the Pinterest post as kind of a basis for like an idea. Go ahead and plate it i'm just realizing this actually would have been so good with like some couscous but i was not thinking about that i just used the the picture and spoke. but i always have leftovers so i'm probably gonna do it that way tomorrow um but yeah i just blackened the salmon i basically like um seared it on the stove until it had like a little bit of pink inside and then i put it in the air fryer for about five minutes on 425 um can't miss out on any of the crunch so yeah we've got the salmon Ooh, it's a little blackened at the top it's gonna taste good with the salmon though and i'm just gonna take the kale veggie mixture and like kind of put it on top and this is what we got this looks pretty good it looks pretty good to be honest i've never had um like a dinner or a meal with kale so this is kind of a first for me. Taste test. I'm actually gonna go ahead and sit down. I'm literally starving. All right, let's see. What's a giving? This kale Caesar thing better be good. Why did I say kale Caesar? Kale, like sauteed kale. The salmon is good, per usual. Let me eat it with everything else. Hold on. I might have did something. Wait a second. This is actually so good. One thing though, kale is super chewy. Like how spinach is like so soft. Cooked kale still kind of holds its firmness. Like I feel like I've only had raw kale for the most part. I don't know if I've ever had it like cooked down, or at least not a significant amount, but I literally made the whole bundle because I figured it'd be, you know, like spinach, like spinach, you make like this much spinach and you come out with like three leaves. Mmm. 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 I just realized I didn't pour anything to drink or anything. I'm getting ready to do my skincare so I can head to bed. I know that this is supposed to be like a spring reset but honestly i require resetting myself too it just feels so good to like take time for yourself and just luxuriate and skincare is one of those things i luxuriate in every day i feel like everybody needs like something that they can look forward to like in their regular daily life and skincare is mine like every single day that's gonna be like my little luxury at the end of the night it's kind of how i just tuck myself in should i liquid exfoliate i feel like i shouldn't because honestly my skin looks so good right now i'm gonna start off with a toner live by her this is the glow recipe toner the immortal reset serum um anyways yeah i was listening to anything goes with emma chamberlain and she just brings on really good like insightful guests and i was really interested in this particular episode because it was about botox and filler and i talked to you guys um why did i tell you guys this sometime last year i think literally when i moved back to atlanta i was telling you guys about how i was over the idea of myself like getting filler like, a little transparency moment i don't like to say like i was bullied as a kid because i feel like you have to be consistently picked on to be bullied like that's literally the, the definition of bully um, but also, I feel like you kind of have to care. And I wouldn't say, like, looking back, I probably did care more than I thought at the time when people would pick on me. But um, I think it mostly showed up in, like, insecurities over the years as they went by, you know? Because I didn't come into middle school with insecurities about my lips. <laughs> they were brought upon me. Um, but anyways, for years, I was always like, oh, my gosh. Like, I was feeling like Kylie, y'all. It was giving Kylie Jenner. I was like, man, hand me the lip liner. Like, oh my gosh. And so when lip filler became really popular, I mean like to the point where 
literally i know like a few people that have lip filler it's that common like i know people in real life with it i was like oh, i think i'm gonna do it like i just think i don't want to touch anything else on my body but i think i'm gonna do it anyways i got over that and i'm so glad that i did and i was just kind of talking to you guys about how i've decided to kind of just accept me as me i didn't feel like getting lip filler was actually going to make me happy i didn't feel like i was gonna suddenly be like wow i'm so confident and i'm so pretty now and i gave it some time i just learned to love what i have what god gave me and honestly i do feel like i'm really confident now like that's why i say like my lips they really don't bother me now like it used to be a point where i wouldn't show up without lip liner at all in real life and now i'll be like what's good like i don't care like i'm still cute like i don't care oh i didn't mention uh the moisturizer i'm using is future wise's slug cream moisturizer she's very good and then the eye cream that i just used is i've been loving this one i found this one at marshall's the little five in one eye cream by first aid beauty should i slug tonight i think i'm gonna slug to keep all of this like moisture in we're gonna use future wise again but anyways, um, I brought up the podcast because she had brought on like this, um, it's this woman who used to be a nurse. So she like specializes now in like doing work for people as far as like filler goes, like Botox and things like that. And she was kind of talking about the detriments of filler. Like I didn't know how dangerous filler was. So she was saying Botox is actually a lot more safe. And I'm not going to go into the whole episode. This was like somebody who studied like in the medical field not like somebody who just specializes because you know people can just go get a certification and give you filler everybody who's out here giving you filler is just not maybe the best person to give you filler is what she was basically saying like it's very detrimental but i bring that up because she was saying sometimes clients will come in and they'll ask for something and she'll say no like i'm not doing that for you like maybe you should do this and so one thing that she tells people a lot i'm not going to give you this filler that you're asking for but i will talk to you about your skin like maybe they don't have the best skin and she was talking about how she recommends people getting their skincare routine together because a lot of times people people's confidence just really boosts when they just have good skin they think oh i wanted a new nose or oh i want a lip filler and really once you got that good skin, that good popping skin, no makeup, like it's hitting. You don't even want any of those things anymore. Like it just boosts a different type of confidence. And I definitely have seen that in like when when I started getting more into skincare, like I feel like overall, like my securities just started building up. And I didn't realize this until she mentioned like, oh, good skin will like get you anywhere as far as like confidence goes. And of course it's not foolproof. But for the most part, like most people, when their skin looks beautiful and it looks nice and clean and clear and bouncy and vibrant, they feel good about themselves. And I can vouch for that for sure. This is what the skin is giving for the night. She's skinny. Okay, I figured since I'm getting ready to go to bed and I've been literally coughing this whole time talking to y'all, like I'm gonna have a time trying to edit, an absolute time. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour myself a little night drink. Gonna pour up what I got earlier. All right, let's try this out. Cheers. Clink. That's actually not bad. This is quite bearable. I thought it was gonna be disgusting just cause it was like for immunity. I was like. <laughs> okay, all right. I see you, Uncle Matt's organic. I better be better by tomorrow. But like I said, elderberry, top tier for cold. I just wanted to show you guys before I went to bed um, the book I'm reading right now. I'm not going to lie. I cannot say <laughs> that I recommend it at the moment. It honestly just feels like a very young read. Like if somebody's like 15 years old, they might like it. But I'm one of those people when everybody says it's so good, it's like, gots to see it through my boy. And when I made it to the half point, I was just like, I'm going to just keep going. Like I, at this point, I'm going to finish the book. Like I'm right. Where am I? 
I'm right here. Like, I might as well keep going, right? But anyways, I'm not going to bed quite yet. I just like reading my little book because it makes me sleepy. And then I get to have my little fancy immunity drink as I go to bed. I normally have tea, but we're sick right now. So circumstances may a little different. I do really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it refreshed you or at least inspired you to maybe refresh yourself um, for spring because I know y'all we've been in these trenches in winter it, it always happens okay so buy yourself some cute spring flowers get yourself some good healthy grocery do a little skincare night a little self-care I'm so excited honestly I feel like my content is more fun even when it's warm outside so I hope you guys stick around for that but I will see y'all in the next video I love you so so much